Hello guys, my name is Pranas and I have a new friend, Povelas, with me. This time a Boeing 737 Classic got into our hands, so we want to show you how to do a cold and dark in it. Let's go? Yes, that's good. I don't know about Povelas, but I would like some light. So to do that, I'll check eight items. First of all, battery on. We check that the standby power switch is guarded. The alternate flaps guarded that the windshield wiper is off, electric hydraulic pumps off, then landing gear down and three greens, the weather radar is off and the parking brake is set. Having checked that, we can see that the ground power is available and we can set that to on. Okay, as we have the ground power on, we can set all the lightning, put the panel light on Full. Pavelas will set his lights. Now I'll set the panel light on the right hand side and the flood and panel lights on the lower pedestal. Usually we will find our displays not showing anything so we would need to set them with a few knobs situated here. But ours are actually set in advance so we do not need to do that. Now we will check the fire and overheat protections panel. We will first test the inoperative test. We see fault lights, APU detection inoperative lights and overheat and detection here. We can cancel it and re release the test. Now we will do the overheat and fire test. I put the selector to the right. We hear the bell. We cancel it and check for the lights. We have seen that we have fire warning lights, master cautions, overheat detection. We have three lights for engines and APU, wheel well fire and engine one and two overheat. Now I check the test again to see if my bell cutout switch on this panel works. Again. And we again check for all the lights. They're there. Only one thing to notice, if we didn't have the AC power on, we wouldn't have this wheel well fire light. Last thing to do on the panel is to check the fire extinguisher circuits. We check circuit 1, we've got three lights for two engines and APU, and we check circuit 2, the same, three lights. Next thing we do is select the IRSs, our inertial reference systems, to nav position. We put the left one on DC light, the right one on DC light and we have a line left on the left and a line on the right. The only thing to do now is check the status and we see that we have 7 minutes until the alignment completes. Okay, we have the RSS on the line, we can start the overhead scan. We start with checking evacuation on armed that we have the flight control, spoilers and alternate flaps guarded. These lights are okay. We check that the yaw damper is on, that we have all the instrument transfer switches to normal. We have fuel valves closed, crossfeed closed. And now we select the left aft pump for the operation of our APU which we can start now. Put it to on and to start for three seconds. Okay, the APU is now starting. We can continue with the overhead scan. We check that the gully power is on, standby power is closed, generator drive disconnects are closed. And as we do that, our APU has been started. We have this light illuminating here. So we can start generator 1 on bus, generator 2 on bus. We continue with the center panel. We have the equipment coolings on normal, emergency exit lights armed, no smoking on, fasten belts on, wipers off again, we go forward to window heat. We select window heat to on. 
all four lights are illuminating. This should be illuminating as well and this is okay. We leave it at off. Then we continue. For now we can leave the electrical pumps off, engine pumps on standby. We check that the pressure differential is approximately zero. The cabin altitude is okay and cabin isn't climbing or descending. We continue here. We check that the recirculation fan is on auto. We have left back auto, isolation valve auto, right back off. We have the engine bleeds set on on. And as we have running, have been running the APU for more than a minute, we can select the APU bleed to on as well. And we can see an immediate rise in the pressure. Cancel the master caution and now we can select the pressurization panel. We set the flight level, flight altitude to 2000 feet, cabin altitude and landing altitude for our runway. We check that the switch is on ground and that this knob is in auto position. This means that the pressurization is in auto position. And we check the sixth panel, everything seems okay. The only thing we have to do is select the position light to on. Now the overhead scan is complete. I will do just a few items on the mode control panel here. I will check that the flight director is on, his side is on main, and we have courses of 079 and 079. Okay, now we will do a flight instrument check. Okay, the flight instrument check is complete, everything seems normal. Pavlos will do now his pedestal check. He will check that the speed brake is down detent. He will check that there is no light. The thrust levers are at forward idle. The flaps in, is in our current position of zero. The parking brake is set and light on and engine start levers cut off. Stabilize the trim cutout switches on normal. Next thing we do is I'll check and set the radio panel. I'll check the frequencies, they are correct. Set for ILS, I'll put it to auto. Our maps are good. These ones are set with radio on VHF. Okay. Transponder 2000 on standby. Trims are okay. My radios are set maps are good and everything is now set okay so it is our time to set flight management computer now and I will begin with the initial data on ident page okay this is our very first page and first of all we have to verify that this is our correct model 737 500 yes and engine rating is also correct then we have to notice that navigation data is correct and active okay let's move to post init page now and now our present airport is London Gatwick so I will insert echo golf kilo kilo and we have to also verify that our time matches with the captain's clock so it's correct let's move to root page now we I will copy the London Gatwick here and uh, our destination airport will be also London Gatwick. We will make just a circuit. I will go to departure route now and will select it. I will select runway 26 left. And then I will select uh, arrival. And that will be also 26 left, ILS. I will return to root and I will activate it and execute. I will also check our Lex page because it is important that Lex page matches with the root page. Okay. Then I will go to our performance init page and we'll set our zero fuel weight 45 tons. 
and we have to be sure that zero fuel weight fuel and gross weight with the center of gravity matches with the values on our loading documents i will insert let's say 1.9 fuel and cost index of 40. i will insert 2000 feet for our cruising altitude and will execute it then i will go to the takeoff page we will set temperature of 15 celsius by degrees and as you can see our flap setting will be five and the gross weight is correct the computer has also calculated our v speeds that means our v1 will be 135 v2 144 and we will rotate at 137 knots we can also go to next page and we can durate our thrust during takeoff but maybe next time so with this page we have just finished our flight management computer preparation operation so we have just finished our job with the flight management computer that is actually very nerdy and now we can proceed to mode control panel so this is our mode control panel and now i will set our auto thrust to arm position I will set our V2, that is 145. I will also set runway heading for departure, that will be 100, correction, 259. And our initial climb, 2000 feet. I will also set our course of 259er. And on my colleague's side too. Set. That's it. Okay, the pre-flight procedure has been completed. We can now start the necessary checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Test. Test at 100. Instrument transfer switches are on normal. Window heat is on. Pressurization mode selector is auto. Flight instruments. Check. Heading 348. 200 feet at QNH 1005 and 200 feet at 1005. QNH 1005, 200 feet and heading 348 checked. Heading 259er and initial altitude 2000 feet. Heading 259er, altitude 2000. Parking brake. Set, red light. Engine start levers. Cut off. And gear pins. Checked. The pre flight checklist has been completed. So let's do the before engine start procedure. Absolutely. We will select the fuel pumps to on. The electrical hydraulic pumps to on. Left back to off. We verify that we have 40 PSI for engine start. And we select the anti-collision light to on. And now we can do the before start checklist. Before start checklist, please. Before start checklist. Flight deck doors closed and locked. Fuel. Checked. Nine tons pumps on. Checked. Passenger signs are on. Anti collision light is on. Windows. Locked. Locked. MCP. V2 145, heading 259er and altitude 2000 feet. That is checked. Takeoff speeds. V1 135 and rotate at 137. V1 135, rotate 137 and again V2 145. Checked. CDU pre flight. Completed. Completed. Rudder and aileron trims. They are free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing is completed, I completed. believe. And mobile phones. Off. I don't have it. Off. Off. Before start checklist is complete. Now we are ready for push and start. We will ask for pushback and comment it. Ask for pushback, please. Pushback is completed. We can start the engines. Starting sequence 2 1. Roger. And check right side. 
Right side clear. Start engine number two. Starting engine number two. Timing. Pressure has dropped. Start valve open. And two rotation. Check. And one rotation. Check. All pressure is rising. And two twenty-five percent. Idle. Timing. EGT fuel flow. Check. And two forty-six. Start valve closed and start sequence cutout. Okay, the same start procedure for the left engine. Start engine number one. Starting engine number one. Timing. Pressure has fallen. And two is rising. Start valve open. And two twenty-five percent. And one rising. Idle. And Timing. idle. Fuel flow. EGT rising. Check. Starter cut out. Start valve closed. And engine stable. Check. Engine stable. Flaps five, please. Flaps five. I will check that we have no unnecessary lights. I'll check the gen generator one. Generator two. They look okay. And I'll put them on bus. Generator one on bus. Generator two on bus. I'll continue with the panel scan. Pedostatic heat on. Engine 90 ice will be off because the current temperature is 15 degrees above Celsius. Everything looks good. And now, right back auto. APU bleed off. Left back auto. And the ground switch goes to flight. The only thing was left is the APU. I will now select it to off. APU is shutting down. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generators on. Pito heat is on. Anti ice off. Isolation valves auto. Engine start switches continuous. Recall checked. Auto brakes RTO. Engine start levers check. Idle. Flight controls. Clear. And ground equipment is clear on the right. Before taxi checklist complete, okay. we are ready for taxi. Yes, we're ready to taxi now. Okay, we are ready for taxi. I'll ask for clearance and we'll commence it. Background uh, Baltic Aviation Academy 1 requesting taxi clearance runway 26 left.